Hello and welcome back to the channel. So, today's topic, right, Law of Attraction, living in the end, living like you already have it. Today, uh, I'm going to show you an exercise so that you can generate the emotion of living in the end. Because living in the end is, you know, one of the most common phrases you hear when you're studying Law of Attraction. You know, one of the most common things people say is, live as if you already have it, live as if it's yours. How do you do that, though? You know, certainly if you want a million dollars, you don't go out and start buying a bunch of shit that you don't need, right? Start spending as if you're a millionaire. You know, because that would be sort of the wrong extreme for that. You know, but you still want to generate that vibration, that emotion of already having it, you know, so that... It sort of comes to you faster, so that you sort of have the things that you desire uh, quicker and more efficiently. I mean, that's one of the fastest ways to get law of attraction to work. One of the questions I get is, how do I live in the end? You know, how do I act as if I already have it or feel as if I already have it? Well, I'm going to show you today. So, to start the exercise, I'm going to ask you. Close your eyes. That's right. What I want you to do is I want you to imagine that thing in your mind. Imagine already having it. That's right. Stand the way you'd be standing. Breathe the way you'd be breathing. That's right. And then assign a color to that feeling that you get. Imagine a big ball of that color, almost like a ball of energy, hovering above your head. Then I want you to expand that ball, fill the room with it, from floor to ceiling, from wall to wall, and every point in between. And just breathe in that energy. Breathe it into every part of your being, every cell, just deeper and deeper into yourself. Feel your mind rearranging. Feel the cells in your body. Feel the emotional shifts, changes in your breathing and posture. Just allow all that to take place. When you know you've got it, when you know you've got it locked in, try to turn it off without changing your breathing or posture. Notice what happens instead. That's right. And when you're done testing, open your eyes and look around the room. And notice how you feel different. So, for those of you that have seen my earlier videos, uh, you would know that that's basically a variation of color breathing. You know, except instead of, you know, just doing state control, we're generating a specific emotion. So that's sort of my gift to you guys today. Now, what's the importance of being able to do this? The importance of this particular exercise, other than simply generating those feelings so you can attract things with a higher vibration, is with that technique, you can control your emotions anytime, anywhere, as long as you move yourself into the posture and breathing rate. You have the power over your own emotions to shift them whenever you like, as long as you have the awareness to do so. Uh, but anyway, uh, I guess it's kind of short and sweet on that one. I just wanted to share that technique with you. If you have any questions about it, uh, just put ask me down in the comments. You know, like, subscribe, comment. And if you'd like to hire me as your personal coach, uh, hypnotherapist, um, you want me to do some Reiki work on you, help you with your law of attraction? Go to my website at uh, rateoftransformations.com or you can visit me on Facebook at facebook.com slash rateoftransformations. But anyway, that's all for today. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.